We started uploading periodic videos 10 years ago. We never thought it would go on for more than a few weeks. But here we are 10 years on and Brady's allowed me to choose my favorite 10 videos, as long as I don't talk about them too much. Number one, I think video of rubidium, Neil's ingenious apparatus for smashing a vial of rubidium and dropping it into water containing an indicator. It's really good. I think it typifies his ingenuity with apparatus, our enthusiasm for these videos and the unexpected things that we learn. We didn't expect rubidium to react so strongly. Number two, the accidental reaction where I poured potassium permanganate, it's purple, into hydrogen peroxide, which is colorless. And the purple color just disappeared. And I went on and on and on pouring it and the color just kept on disappearing it. So this is actually much better than I intended because I was going to make it purple and make it go clear. And here you can see I'm pouring in a purple solution and it's disappearing. I've never done it before. I haven't got it to work so well since. It was an absolutely wonderful demonstration. Number three, the video that made me look really stupid. I was doing a reaction of chromium trioxide with ethanol, produces a huge flame. And after the flame, and as the smoke was going up, Brady asked me whether I'd arranged for the fire alarm to be switched off. I said, yes. You Is can the smoke alarm off? Yeah. No. You forgot to switch it off. Number four, pumpkins for Halloween. I smashed a pumpkin with liquid nitrogen. Pete and Neil did the thermite reaction in a pumpkin. Pumpkin went white hot, molten iron came out. My grandson has watched it many, many times. Come along, Martin, when you think you're hard enough. <laughs> Number five was one of our very first slow motion videos. It was prompted by a viewer who suggested we should let off a mixture of hydrogen and oxygen in a balloon. Try burning a balloon filled with a proper mixture of two parts of hydrogen and one part of oxygen. So we compared a balloon with hydrogen and a balloon with hydrogen oxygen. Number six, many people ask me how I thought of making periodic videos. It was Brady who thought of the idea and the video he made for the BBC really explains how the idea came about and what we've done. For all his celebrated work as a research chemist and university professor, Martin Polyakov didn't become a celebrity till he got so on the internet. Number seven is hammering Red Hot Platinum. We made this video at the Johnson Matthey Platinum Refinery and I could hardly believe my eyes. As they hammer the platinum to make the bar thinner, it gets hotter and hotter and hotter. And I've never seen such a wonderful demonstration of converting mechanical energy into heat. Number eight is an experiment I've always wanted to see done, dropping heavy ice that's frozen D2O into ordinary water to see if it would float. And it was amazing. And I'm hoping it sinks. It sank, but then it rose up again. And I think now this was due to the density of the water, but I came up with a different theory at the time. Number nine was a video that I also wanted to see, which was putting flesh into hydrofluoric acid, HF, which dissolves flesh. We couldn't use human flesh, so we used a chicken leg. And I've never seen anything looking as dead as the chicken leg after it had sat overnight in hydrofluoric acid. Number 10 is perhaps my all-time favorite video. It was our first video about element 
108 Hassium. And Brady recorded me saying that I knew nothing about Hassium and asking whether we should make something up. What's the next element? Hassium. I knew nothing about Hassium. Should we make something up? However, the power of the periodic table is that by looking at the periodic table, I can say, well, its chemistry has got to be a bit like iron. Now, the really interesting thing is that research that's been done in the last few years since we started periodic videos suggests that with these really super heavy elements, you may not be able to predict their properties by looking down the periodic table because of relativistic effects in the atoms make them behave differently from what you might expect. I would be really interested to hear from you, perhaps in the comments, which are your top 10 of our videos, because it's really nice to be reminded of some of these videos and I hope you will enjoy watching them. Thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to see full length versions of the videos the professor listed, I'll have links in the description and here on the screen, including a playlist so you can watch them all in order. If you'd like to know what my top 10 is, I've also made a video about that and I'll also put links to that in all the usual places. Thank you so much for watching over the last 10 years and here's to 10 more?